What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shane Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the Sir Liberty Junk. I received a disturbing email from one of the subscribers to discuss this current story. And for those of you who are in Harris County, Texas, which is home of Houston, Texas, you've probably heard about this story already. And it revolves Mr. Brian Coulter. Now, he was in a relationship with Gloria Williams. And the subject that we're dealing with is her son, Kendrick Lee, who Mr. Coulter found upon himself to hit the child in the face, feet, buttocks, and back until the child was no more. Not only did Mr. Coulter do that, he also abused the other children. Okay? Her 10-year-old and 7-year-old son watched it. Okay? And that they too were often physically abused by Mr. Coulter. But not only did she fail to protect her children from the boyfriend, she moved out. Okay? Now she does have another son who is 15 years old and 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 they left the kids to live by themselves. While the child's body decomposed. Okay? And it was only then that he called the police. He was terrified about what happened to his brother. And now then, I want to talk about this because, you know, criminality happens amongst all people, all classes of society, all races or ethnicities. And it knows not any color, but in this case, here you have an African-American woman, I would assume, who is with a white man. And I think this is important for the conversation because we've heard for a certain segment of black women here on YouTube that white is right. Brad is better. Okay, He's who you want to choose. He'll take care of you. He'll come in and do what Pookie won't do. And then we have stories like this, okay? And then we wonder what happened with Gloria? How did she get into such a situation, okay? Now, I, I, I wanna tell people all the time because a lot of times both black men and black women feel that another race of people are gonna do you justice, you're gonna do better with somewhere else. Um, and it's just like people who decide they're going to go to colleges, right? You transfer to one college, you go to another college, but you know, your grades are still terrible because you don't study. Here's the situation with her. She's dating a man that is abusive, that happens to be white. And possibly she thought maybe that this was going to be a better situation for her. No, no, because she was more concerned about the man than her children and she didn't do her homework. She brought this guy around her kids as he abused them and she let him. She let him. And so what I want to ask people is when would you start choosing people based off of this race? Okay. Where are all the swirlers at on this story? You know, a lot of ladies talking about, oh yeah, I'm a single mom. It's okay. Somebody gonna take care of my, I get me a white man. Okay. But is the white guy that you're going to get based on what? Because you have white people that are nice. You have white people who are not nice. You have black people who are nice. You have people who are not nice. And you and, and what happens is you, you, you tend to attract what you are. And you do not attract what you are not. Shout out to David Carroll on that. I'm going to repeat it again. You attract what you are. You do not attract what you are not. You cannot be a woman if you're looking at her. And this blonde, I don't know what's going on here, 
But if, if you look at this struggle hairline that she has, I mean, how then can you go outside looking like this and expect to get a high value man when, it, when you looking like your, your, your hair color is margarine? I can't believe it's not butter taper. What's going on with this? You, you're struggling that, okay? So it, 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 it makes sense that, you know, if I were to see you and him together, both y'all look like y'all on drugs. Both y'all look smoked out. Alleyway, alleyway, where's the blunt? Smoked out. Where's the cocaine? Please pass it to me. All right? And if you are a loser in life, you get that. Winners don't end up dealing with people who are like this. But see, this is where the rubber meets the road. And this is where a lot of our people in our communities think that you're going to just uh, level up because you're taking somebody out of the out of the uh, somebody else's race. No. Because their top people are going to be dealing with their top people. Just like in the black community. All right. If you're a guy and you go to Atlanta and you think, that, oh, you know, I'm just going to get a black woman because I'm black. And, and no. If you broke, you're going to be dealing with the broke stuff. If you're not motivated, you'll be dealing with the broke people. You are who you hang around. All right, you are who you attract. And I think that's a big problem with some of this entitlement that some ladies think that they're gonna get somebody which they're not. And then you see a case like this that you get to, you know, you get to where you're at. Somebody who's abusive, somebody who's destructive. I'm not saying that she's like that, but what I'm saying is you're not appealing to a man that would be a provider, that would be somebody that adds to your life. You're dealing with a man that's a destroyer. Okay, and then you left your children for this guy. Where are the swirlers at? Okay, and again, until Black America, we start pointing the finger at ourselves for some of the things that we, uh, a lot of the things that we're doing here. The community will not get better. We won't get better. Children will not be protected. Okay, you will have things like this. And you will have things like this happening for any race. It don't matter if the kid, if the person is black or white or whatever. We have to do a better job of teaching our people to have higher standards. I'm going to say it again. Our people have to have higher standards for themselves. If they don't, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep doing the stuff. We're gonna keep sandaling it up. We're gonna keep being the dusty. We're gonna keep being hella just, 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 just broke as hell. This is where we are going to be. We're gonna be nowhere but this place. And some people don't like what I'm saying, but it's true. It's completely true. You're gonna to continue to continue to be dusty as hell. Then when you in jail, which is where both of y'all are going. You're going to jail. And that dude stopped the show. Booty clapping sounds. Yeah, they're going to deal with you, bro. Since you want to since you want to hit children and stuff like that, don't worry. They got something for you. They're going to do you really. They're going to give you a nice surprise. Big Pookie and them is going to deal with you real nice. Don't even worry about nothing. You're going to get dealt with. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high.